Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a book review and it's my first one so kind of bear with me until I get the hang of it. I'll probably do a review for each book that I finish just to share what I thought of it and whether I liked it and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I'll do every single book but I'll try. Anyway, this first book that I'm doing is The Vision by Heather Graham. And She's probably my second favorite author right now. And I'm working through her collective uh, works lately. And this one here was done in <coughs> 2006. And what the back says is, The gift of sight comes at a dangerous price. When Deep Down Salvage begins the hunt for the Marie Josephine, it seems like any other dive, until Genevieve Wallace sees the vision of a dead woman in the water, her vacant eyes boring into Genevieve's very soul. Terrified and confused by what she saw, Genevieve is haunted by the memory, but no one, including her dive partner, Thor Thompson, believes her. When a dead woman washes up on shore, everyone assumes this is Genevieve's vision, but Genevieve knows the truth. The dead woman is not the ghost she saw, but another victim of the same brutal killer. Seeing that the threat of death is coming closer, she and Thor are forced to acknowledge that some things can't be explained, but simply are. Somehow they have to link a violent past with a present-day mystery, or risk losing themselves in an abyss of terror. So, there we go. But, it, w it was a good book. I liked it. I actually really quite enjoyed it. I um, wrote myself a couple of notes to mention here, so I can try not to forget. Um, one thing that I didn't like... I didn't hate it, but it, it's not my favorite way to go. But the book began with the actual vision of Genevieve having the vision. Now, I kind of like to have a lead-in on my stories, but that's just a personal preference. But this one here, it starts right off with the prologue of her starting having the vision right there. I mean, it start, the first line of the book is, The form drifted eerily. And then, from a distance, it almost appeared to be a woman. And so it's right literally when she's having the vision, which, like I said, it's, it's my own personal preference. I like to kind of have a lead into the action, I guess. But, um, this, it was, um, decent-sized book. It's, this one version is the mass market paperback, and it's 405 pages for this story. It's a nice, good size, and it's a good size print. Which the book I read before this had kind of small print, and I had a little bit of a harder time reading it, even with my glasses on. So this is a nice, good-sized print. If you can, if you can see it there. That's in focus, but it's a nice, good-sized print. Good-sized chapters and separation, so it's easy to follow, easy to read, read along. It's not too difficult, which is nice. And um, it uh. What, something I did like, aside from, aside from the prologue being the vision right off, I did like how the story went. It started off, you know, good and strong, telling about the different characters and everything like that, though I would have liked to know m more about the sporting characters. Like, you get to meet them and little bits about them and stuff, but I, I think... I think the characters sounded really quite interesting, and I would have liked to have known more about them, but I guess it wasn't that integral to the story, so she didn't really expand on them too much, which is a shame, but you can deal with it. Um, there were some characters, however, from a previous book, um, which I believe it was released first, because um, in the previous book, the book was Ghost Walk, Heather Grimm, Ghost Walk, and the characters in that weren't together yet, but in this book, they're married. So, you don't need to read Ghost Walk to, to get through this one, because it's not totally about them. They just happen to be in the story helping out. But it, if you do read this first, you will know that they get married, so it's kind of obvious. I don't remember exactly how Ghost Walk ended, because it's been a little while since I read it, but um, the characters that reoccur are Brent Blackhawk and Nikki and Adam, who is Brent's boss. And so it was nice to see the recurring characters. She's done that in a few of her other books, too, with uh, Kiss of Darkness and Blood Red, some characters crossing over from there. So I did like that very much. Um, as for the ending and how things turned out, I was actually surprised who the bad guy turned out to be. 
which I can usually tell pretty quickly, and it, I hate that because it really kind of takes the fun out of the book, but it, it was pretty close to the end, like maybe here or so, somewhere roughly around that much left, that I figured out who it was that I suspected. Now, I had narrowed it down to a list of possibles, and it was definitely one of those, but I was not absolutely sure yet who it was. So it was nice to have a little more suspense longer in the book instead of figuring out who it is right away. So that much I very much liked. Um, I think also at the end, as with a few of her different books that I've read, it has a preview of the next book, which the book after this apparently was Kiss of Darkness, like I just mentioned, which um, it came out in September 06. And it does have a couple of pages in there, so that was nice. And I, I read Kiss of Darkness first, which that was one of the first ones I read that really got me into her. Because um, I read an older one, which is one of my favorite books. It's called Eyes of Fire, and it, I think it's like 95 or mid-90s somewhere, and it, it, that's one of my favorite books ever. I've read it so many times. But I didn't read anything again until much later, and I think it was probably Kiss of Darkness that started it. And it's got a supernatural kind of vampire, um, were-animal kind of thing going on to it, and it carries over into Blood Red, which is kind of the follow-up kind of to it, which there were some things about Kiss of Darkness I didn't like as much, but that's for another video. But I think that's enough for this one here. Um, it's put out by Mira, Mira Books, M-I-R-A, and if you want to find out more, you can go to mirabooks.com, M-I-R-A books.com, and I think her website off the top of my head was the real, the real heathergram.com, or eheather.com, I forget exactly which one's the official site of hers, but I'll look it up and I'll put the link to there. Plus there's a few other things here on YouTube. You can see her actually talking about her Ghost Walk book, which I, I was very fond of Ghost Walk. So, but I guess that's pretty much it for this one here. I hope this was helpful to you. Like I said, it's my first and so I'm going to learn as I go. So if you have feedback, I would really, really appreciate it. Like, what would you like to know about the next book or anything that would be helpful in terms of tips and stuff like that. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Talk to you next time. Bye.